one of the things that just really appeals to me is just how it just seems just really kind of bizarre to me. First of all, all of these, these brands of soda that are trying to appear like uh, a cheaper version of Dr. Pepper and you know, trying to at attract an audience or, or uh, customers and they just happen to have really strange names and um, you know, it, it just seemed like a very strange uh, you know, kind of a subculture to me in, in the soda world. And I was in the soda aisle and I just happened to see that they had a Dr. Wright soda and all of a sudden it just got me thinking you know well if this store has a Dr. Pepper clone but they're probably out there and sometimes you can go you know right out in front of the store and they'll have a soda machine of their own sodas and you can get uh, a Dr. clone for a quarter you know that that's always great uh, on the other hand if that's not the case then you end up having to you know, buy a 12 pack or something like that, which, uh, you know, can be kind of overkill. I, I did have a previous collection, and that was beer cans, and I so I do feel like I have kind of a collector mentality, and I I, I really was into cans. Eventually, I gave it up. I mean, I didn't uh, sort of a passing fad, and the cans kind of ended up in a box, and uh, my my collection essentially is in a in a box, a cup actually two boxes that I got. I had them on display at uh, Tyson's Pimmet Library for about a month in the display case. And at the end of the month, I gave a lecture. Uh, I, I probably had about a dozen people there, which was fine. And this one you know, we had a uh, Name the Dr. Soda <laughs> contest. We tasted various sodas and told you know, stories about Exciting. the Dr. Six soda Dr. phenomenon. Skipper, shaking it around, showing it to his kids and going, you know, look, look, and I was thinking, what is he so excited about? I like, I like the cans like uh, that try to get as close to pepper, you know, so it's, it's you know, they're making a homage uh, to the mother brand. I like to totally examine, you know, all the little details, but they've given it the Eckerd Award, premium quality, excellent value, and probably one thing that you can't see You've got your three tiny little stars under the R, Dr. Star. You've got your second R. You know, she's got your uh, name spelled wrong. You know. I do like the red can. This even takes this kind of pepper-esque uh, stripe, and you know, whew, and you got the mountains in the background, and uh, uh, it just again, it just keeps going. Dr. Radical. Now, I'm going to turn this over and tell you that this is a full can. What happens in the can phenomenon, which is good for collectors, is that they uh, end up, they tend to update their, um, their cans from time to time. So Dr. Perky gets this particular facelift. Um, gone are the lines, and in come the very appealing kind of uh, splashing soda with ice cubes update that Food Lion has given Dr. Perky. Everybody can kind of relate to this this phenomenon of you know all these different cans are either amused by it or they have their own stories or uh, they've collected beer cans. I'm kind of embarrassed about it sometimes you know it's like should should I have better things to do with my time? Um, but when I look at these cans, uh, it's amusing to me. I laugh, uh, 
and I can put them away, I can put them back in their boxes. I mean, how many doctor sodas could there possibly like, be? You know, you know the collecting kind of neurosis kind of took over. Just, I have the bug. I and at this point, I probably have about uh, 60 of them. And there's, there's probably no end in sight. Um, and there's probably no way of acquiring all there are out there. Um, 